dream a little dream of me. Welcome kindreds, it's Jessica the Story Witch and this is kind of like an update video I guess. I've got a few little bits and bobs of things I wanted to share with you guys uh, about the bullet journal live sessions. I've had some really exciting mail I'm going to open and quite a few other things. I have made a list so I'll check that as I go along to make sure that I'm not missing anything that I was going to say. So I did film a witch casket unboxing of the October box which I normally share at the beginning of the following month but I filmed it but for some reason it just didn't come out properly it says like file corrupted or something so I'm sorry about that and I've already all kind of like pulled it all apart <laughs> so I couldn't even kind of poke it all back in and do it again so I'm sorry about that guys but I know there's lots of other people filming the witch casket unboxing so hopefully you won't be too disappointed I think I am oh yeah I'm wearing one of the little pins that came in it I think it was I think it was that one in the in the last box so it was a protection theme which was really cool because they said that not everybody would receive it in time for Samhain which is literally just past it's the first of November when I'm recording this now so I thought that was kind of cool and it was there was lots of nice bits and bobs in there and I'm probably making it worse by talking about it and not showing it <laughs> So I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm really sorry. And I'm also sorry that I haven't uploaded a flip through of my November bullet journal setup. I'm, I've am i done it and I've kind of filled in my, my deck for the month and all that sort of thing. And I didn't film it. I just, I think I just completely forgot about it to be honest because I've been doing all the other bullet journal videos and making things and stuff to share with you guys with that. So I thought what I'll do maybe is um, is I'll just film it over on Instagram and put it in my Instagram stories and then if you are interested you can just have a look. I'll just kind of flip through. I won't do a big old rabbit on about it, you know, <laughs> over there. It's really bright today so I've tried to like block out the sun coming in through the skylights with this, well it's one of the cloths I sometimes use on the altar so it's kind of a bit sheer so I'm getting the sun in my eyes a little bit but I'm hoping the light is okay and you can still see me and you'll be able to see the things when I unbox them earlier on, uh, earlier on? Really? I do not know what is happening to me today. <laughs> later on, in a moment, not too long, if I can get my words out a bit quicker. I did just want to say something because I didn't want to not say anything really about, I'm sure you will have seen if you're in the witchy community here on YouTube, that um, Dolores, tiptoe chick, uh, she, she was killed uh, a few days ago now and I didn't actually know her um, well obviously I didn't know her personally but I didn't really know her videos either I think because she she was one of the very first people here on YouTube making kind of witchy content and I know a lot of people have really loved her stuff for a long time there have been lots of people put, making posts over in the YouTube Pagans Facebook group which is a group for like people who make pagan content here on YouTube so if you're not in that group I'll leave a link to that down below but she has left obviously she's left a family and she's left children and you know that is just it's always so hard for the people who are left behind so you know I wanted to kind of just pay tribute really and thank her for the work that she has done here on YouTube and just really send my sorry and my you know my kind of condolences to her family and those who feel sad you know over her passing so so yeah I loved Annika Annika Vatten she's the sea priestess here now she started a new channel it's probably not even that new now <laughs> maybe sort of eight months ago or something here over on YouTube and she was talking in again in the YouTube Pagans group she made a little video saying how when something like that happens when somebody who is young you know dies and is unexpected it it just makes you realize that time is not endless and I, I kind of carry that around with me all the time I feel I've I have got a strong sense of morbidity within me and I, I feel like it helps me. I feel like it helps to keep me kind of grounded and it keeps me focused because I know that I'm not going to be here forever. And obviously we all know we're not going to be here forever, but you know, it's, it's bringing that more to your forefront of your mind and it can kind of give you a, a greater sense of perspective. And Annika was saying that it's really made her realise that when she does pass, she wants to have left a legacy behind as Tiptoe Chick has done, you know, with videos here on YouTube. And I know I, I want to leave books behind. And so far I've only written one teeny weeny little book of short stories and 
that would not, if I died today, then I would feel like I had not left the legacy that I am supposed to be leaving here. So I love also now that I'm making videos and I have been blogging in various forms and kind of writing articles and things for, you know, for a number of years now. So I am leaving things, but I haven't created the body of work that I want to create yet. So I think that is a really good thing to take away from, from whenever you receive sort of sad news like that is, is it gives you that sense of perspective. So yeah, yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? The, oh yeah. <laughs> so in the tarot community, and I didn't know this was a thing because I haven't been in the tarot community very long. I haven't been on YouTube very long. And those are the next two points I just wanted to say is that apparently November is no deck November, which means you're not supposed to buy any tarot or oracle decks during November. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> But actually, I think that'll be okay for me. I have bought, since I've been watching videos, I've bought loads more decks than I ever had in the 10, 15 years prior to that. <laughs> Being on YouTube and watching videos is a really dangerous place for your money, for your wallet. So, but I'm quite happy with not buying any decks in November because I've, I've got, I'm Avalon's deck will be coming. I already paid for that. Well, actually, my husband has bought it for me for Christmas, so I'm hoping it's going to arrive before Christmas, but if it's after Christmas, then that is totally cool as well. And uh, Benabelle's deck, I've already got the book, and I've started to read the book, but I haven't got the deck yet, so I'm excited to be receiving that deck. So that will probably arrive in November, and I think that's fine, because if you didn't actually buy them in November, then it's okay. <laughs> you can make up your own rules for this stuff. That's totally fine. So, so yeah, I'm probably not going to buy any of the decks. And I'm going to do something that I saw Tracy over at My Spiritual Shoes doing. She had this cute little tin. And whenever she sees a deck that she is attracted to, she writes it down on a little slip of paper and pops it in the tin. And then every now and again, she'll pull everything out of the tin and see if those decks are still kind of exciting for her. And I thought that was a really cool way of doing it. I already keep a list in my bullet journal of decks that I'm interested in, a kind of wish list. And there's not that many on there, to be honest. I'm I, I'm not very good at kind of keeping up to date with the decks that are coming out anyway. So that helps. <laughs> and also I feel I, I don't just like to buy decks. I'm a, I tend to hold back anyway. So I'm not a kind of impulse buyer, although sometimes I do. Occasionally I'll just be like, yes, I'm gonna have to buy that. And I just get it straight away. Especially if they're cheap, cheaper ones, you know, cheaper kind of mass market ones. Like I bought the Good Tarot like that. That's probably a deck that I wouldn't have bought if it hadn't been on sale and very cheap, you know, so, so yeah. But I'm gonna have a little tin like that and pop it all in there because I think kind of keeping it in a tin kind of hidden away feels different from having it in a list in my journal that I can kind of flick back to. So I'm flicking the, camera as well so yeah I think I'm going to do that I'll link Tracy's video down below where she kind of uh, opened her tin and saw whether she was kind of still thinking those decks were the decks that she wanted it was quite quite cool to see that and okay so the bullet journal lives nearly I think I think I've only got one more video to put up now about the bullet journal live sessions, the kind of prep for the bullet journal live sessions I'm gonna be doing. And I've set a date for when I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it on Sunday, the 25th of November. It's gonna be for the first one. I've had to kind of work around when my husband is home so that he can kind of have the kids because I've got no idea how long it's gonna be. <laughs> I've never timed me doing my annual set before and I've never, I've never like, you know, I, I expect there's going to be chatting. Well, you know, I'll be there, so there will be chatting. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take. So I've, I've said I'm just going to allow like an indefinite amount of time for it. And if it goes on too long, then I can just kind of, we can stop it and we can kind of pick it up again. And we'll, we'll just play it by ear completely. And I also wanted to say on that note is if you wanted to do any kind of preparation to your pages, like if you are kind of, if you're going to experiment with watercolour or with watercolour pencils or kind of, well, how, whatever, if it's gonna be something that needs to dry before you can write on top of it or collage on top of it or draw on top of it, then you're probably gonna to want to do that first as well. I was thinking about this and whether I'm gonna to want to do that with any of my pages. I haven't totally decided yet, but I'm gonna have a think about that now over the next week or so. And if I do wanna do anything like that, I'm gonna pre-prepare 
my pages before because like you know with collage it's fine you can just stick things in and that it's dry straight away and we can turn the page and go on to the next page you know but if you're going to be watercoloring then obviously that's going to take time you guys all know this already but I didn't want you to, to sort of think well she's already started you know you start to if you want to you know and you're ready to to go with it that's what the last video in the session is going to be about anyway about kind of um things that kind of kind of mop up things of little things I have haven't said yet and stuff like that so yeah it's also going to be two days after that on the 28th one year since I have started my YouTube channel so I've been on YouTube as a watcher for longer than that but like not within any particular community because I just used to kind of watch videos that interested me or you know like if you need to do a job in the house and you look up how to do it that kind of thing you know so this has been a real big journey for me on YouTube this year and it's been really amazing. My word of the year, as you'll know, if you've been watching my videos for a while now, for 2018, you know, as we're just getting to the end of the year now, was Emerge. And I definitely feel like I've emerged. <laughs> I'm now definitely putting my face out there and so much more happier as well about doing that because even though I used to do that very much within my own community and I used to hold circles and things, oh, I still do hold circles and things in my community locally, I now doing this kind of like on the internet, it has definitely stretched me and helped me to grow and I'm really, really grateful for that. And yeah, I can't believe it, you know, a year. I've got a couple of other videos on there of like things like me doing when I did my book launch of my uh, little short story collection that I've did like a reading and stuff on there. So there are some videos from longer ago than that, but I don't really see those as my kind of, as the start really, because I wasn't, I've just kind of saved it on there rather than using it. You know, I, I wasn't thinking about it as a channel or anything like that. Whereas that video, I think it, it was like, coming out of the broom closet type video because I wanted to kind of introduce myself, I guess. And watching back my old videos now, even though now I'm, I still say, um, and I take a while to get to the point a lot of the time. <laughs> my first few videos, you can see, I was just so, so nervous. And I, I still feel a little bit nervous when I come to film now, but it, it dissipates more quickly and I get into the swing of what I wanted to say more quickly and I don't have to kind of psych myself up quite so much before I hit record so yeah it's been a really cool journey for me and it's been so lovely meeting so many people as well I just I the whole community aspect of YouTube I I did not realize that was a thing so it is really that's really really lovely and I thought it'd be nice to do something to kind of celebrate my anniversary <laughs> or birthday I don't know what to call it really anniversary I guess is kind of the most appropriate so what would be cool? I don't know, like a giveaway or um, a Q and A, perhaps, or is there something you'd like me to do? You know, I don't, I don't know what to do, but I'm happy. I'm open for suggestions. I have said actually that I'll do a Q and A over within my Patreon group, so perhaps that might not be such a great idea over here. But I don't know. We, we'll play it by ear and we'll see what happens. And if you guys would like anything specific, then then we can do that. Probably a giveaway would be a nice thing to do, I think, as well. I don't know why I give away. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that was something else I wanted to say as well. My anniversary is coming up. And was there anything else? Oh, yeah, to open my mail. <laughs> so I have got two parcels. One has come all the way from the United States. <laughs> And one has come all the way from down under, from Australia. So I'm going to open, I'll open the, this one first, which is from Ashley Adulting and um, Julie Mango, who are the two main people behind the Coffee Table Coven magazine. I don't know if you guys, hopefully you have seen the magazine. It's a free magazine for like witches and seekers lots of information about kind of tarot spell work there's I've done a few kind of tarot spreads and things that are in there there's always a tarot spread in there every month there's astrological information there's moon information and it's completely free so I'll leave, leave the link for that down below as well so you can check out that if you want to oh my gosh look all the stuff in this envelope and it, it smells amazing it smells so good a quick read of this there's a little letter on the top which is really cutely folded. <laughs> oh, pull. Okay. 
I'm not so good at following instructions. <laughs> I got it. I got it. So, I just have a quick skim. Uh, oh, it's got quotes on here as well. It's just a gorgeous message from Ash that is so lovely. So I'll have a proper read of that later. I won't read it here because there's some other kind of, it's a kind of more personal letter. And there's, oh, what's this? A little bag with my name on it. <laughs> feels kind of like oh my gosh but everything smells so good I think because it's all been in with something really lush smelling oh my gosh what's this A crystal oh and these must be from Judy oh my gosh because they've come from Trinidad where Judy lives and I know it's so hard for her to like get posts in and out on the island it's really Oh my gosh, some gorgeous abalone shell earrings. I don't know if you're even going to be able to see them properly. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's got like information about them. I love abalone as well. It's, I love it so much. It's, for me, it's like it's, it resonates almost the same as Moonstone, you know? It's got that kind of watery moon energy with it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then... Namada Lingam, found only in the Namada River in India, where it is said that Shiva uh, sat for meditation. And that is a gorgeous little pendant. That is so lovely. That is so lush, lush, lush. What else have we got in here? Oh, a little coffee table coven postcard saying thank you for making our world magical with a little cute little peg. <laughs> and then some sigils which I saw the making of these which was really cool how gorgeous is that gorgeous and powerful I am relaxed and at peace that's beautiful so these will be going into my bullet journal hmm let's see what else is in here okay there's a card <laughs> And it says, thank you, off Julie and Ashley. Jessica, thank you, thank you, thank you for being a complete angel in our lives. We truly value all the help and support you've given us throughout our individual journeys and now with Coffee Table Coven. Please accept these little tokens of appreciation. One is a small belated birthday slash Christmas gift. <laughs> we love you, from Julie and Ashley. Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> so Julie must have sent that to Ashley because that looks like Julie's writing and Ash has written on after it so this is so gorgeous they've worked together on this and had to post it between oh wow look this little coffee table coven it looks like tea in here oh yeah that smells amazing it's like it looks like it's got Rose hip in here and there's black tea. Oh, that smells so good. Have a little cup of that. <laughs> and I think there might be one. Yeah, there is one more thing at the bottom here. Oh, an oil blend. Lavender hibiscus oil blend. Mmm, that is so good. So large, and you can see actually it's still steeping in there. The, the herbs are still within the oil, so it's not just the essential oils, it's actual lavender in there as well. Oh my gosh! Thank you guys, that is so that is so lovely. So lovely. And like I said, if you haven't uh checked out the coffee table coven magazine, then do that. They've also got a really cool Instagram if you're over on Instagram where they make posts about you know all sorts of cool things going on all the time so yeah check definitely check that out and it's like it's free it's like it's a no-brainer to me everyone should be reading it <laughs> and now I have a box that has come all the way from Australia which was sent from you know Tracy that I was talking about with her tarot and oracle wish list tin she messaged me to say that she had a couple of decks which she's just not really working with and she thought that I might like 
and uh, she sent them to me. But it's it feels like there's more than decks in this box, so this will be interesting. And I love that she's recycled her Antipodean witch box <laughs> as a container for this. So let's see if I can get into this. Okay. <laughs> And there's some scented pencils on the top. How cute are they? Oh my, they really are scented. I'll, my, if my daughter sees these, I won't get a look in, so I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I might give her one perhaps. <laughs> and then look, this is all packaged up. This is just like in my witch box now. And it's slightly sparkly too. There is, yeah, okay. <laughs> There's definitely more than decks in here. So this is the deck that she told me that she wants, that she was gonna send, the Hobbit Tarot. And it's so funny because my my husband and my son, my son's only five, and he loves the Hobbit. My daughter won't watch it because she finds it too, um, too frightening, really. And I don't really love the film, but I love the book. And Tracy just told me that she has trimmed and edged these cards. You can see that they're, she's taken the borders off them. And the characters and scenes are all from, whoop, are all scenes from The Hobbit. Let's show you the backs. So if you're a fan of Tolkien or of the book and the films, then you will probably have seen these cards already. But I was intrigued with them because to me, they don't look, oh wow, Schmeagol's the hanged man, look at that. Yeah. They look to me to be, I suppose in the same way as the Game of Thrones tower, a lot of people are finding that that actually reads really well. This, when I looked it up, when she messaged to me, you know, when she mentioned it to me, I looked it up on Eclectic Tarot. Was it on Eclectic Tarot? On, well, you know, I kind of looked for images of the cards. And I think that actually it's going to be, it's going to read better, I think, than, you know, not, it's not a gimmick deck then, if you see what I mean. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. So, well. And obviously, because there is story already associated with it, and you know the characters, you know the stories that are behind it, you can also bring that to the reading. So, you know, I find that that can add an extra kind of depth to, to the readings as well. Look at that Queen of Cups, wow. Just the light is a bit too bright to be able to see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that is very exciting. I look forward to having a work with that. It's a US Games deck. Oops. So I should think it is still available if you're interested in it as well. I'm not sure what, when it came out. Has it got it on the outside? I'll probably have to look. 2012 it came out. So it was quite a few years ago actually now, yeah. But probably at the height of when no, actually, because the Hobbit film was out later than that, wasn't it? Because the the Lord of the Rings films came first. And then there is another deck. Which she told me about too. Which is also uh, trimmed. And she's written on, because she's trimmed it, she's written on what the cards are on the bottom as well. Which she said, is that going to bother you? I said, I don't think so. So we will have a little play and see. And I can't remember the name of this deck. <laughs> you guys might know, I'll find it out and I'll leave it underneath. Cause I can't remember the, yeah, I can't remember the name of it. But I thought the imagery in it was really, really evocative. Look at that. So yeah, I thought I'm gonna, have a little play and see. And you know what? What I was also thinking as well is because Tracy's already trimmed these, I've got a corner rounder which I have not used yet because even though I've got a couple of decks which I'm thinking I might trim, 
I've been thinking I might trim them for quite a while <laughs> and I haven't done it yet. So the fact that these are already trimmed, I think will give me the, the confidence to actually go for it with my corner rounder and round them and I might even edge them. So yeah, I can't remember what on earth was that called. I can't remember. That's going to annoy me. But I'll find out and I'll leave it in the um, description box. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this, it's me. <laughs> oh. Tracy's artwork is so lovely. It's like, it's so exuberant and just, you can see how much she enjoys it and you can see the kind of just the joy shining through it. I love it so much. It's so kind of free and fun and just lovely. Yeah, you should check out her, her channel but also her Instagram if she hasn't deleted it. Every now and again she does take everything down off Instagram. <laughs> but hopefully she will leave her work up. And what is this? There are a few other things here. Oh, dropped one into the pot. There's some beads, one of which I've just dropped into the box. I'll have to find them. Oh, wow. There's a rubber that feels amazing. A, sm a smiggle. <laughs> That's so cute. And there's some gorgeous little clear beads. I'm going to pop those back in there for safekeeping. A smooth operator. Oh, a number one gel ink pen. I bet that writes great. I'm going to have to have a little. Oh, and it's pink. <laughs> Lush. Like a kind of pinky purple. Well, like the colour of the outside, but I was expecting it to just be black or blue. So that's really nice. I'm sensing a theme here, look. <laughs> so much fun. That is so cool. And there are some absolutely gorgeous... Look at this. Gorgeous pendant. And it almost looks like, I, like it from, for some reason it reminds me of the moon cycle. That is so beautiful. So I'll be able to string that on with those other beads that are in here as well. And look at this. A little glass moon. And I love glass. I was talking to Janetta Liberty Roir and saying about how glass is just something so kind of magical and special about it and I also to be honest this just even just looking at it now I think this would be really awesome for scrying that is very exciting thank you Tracy and that's got a kind of pinky purple tinge to it but also almost kind of gold and oily as well that is so beautiful and at the bottom of this is this gorgeous scarf which smells amazing because <laughs> it's been in the box with all the rest of the stuff look that is so pretty and it's just so it's lovely I'm really really very lucky and I I feel so it weirds me out but it also blows me away when people are so lush and send me things and yeah it's it's wonderful, it's really wonderful and I'm just so grateful and so happy that I did emerge and I did decide to come here on YouTube because I found it to be such a brilliant place. I feel like I can help other people, whoa, it's going really dark now the sun's just gone behind a cloud. <laughs> I feel like I can help other people on their journeys but it's also given me so much on my journey as well because it's really making my growth and expansion just so much teaching something i saw lisa talking about this the other day when she was talking about her, her brilliant lisa tarot alchemist she, on her, her her um chakra series that she's doing which is really good you should definitely check that out she was saying that she has she has found that by teaching the things like the astrological correspondences with the chakras and the tarot correspondences so she's like matching up the tarot astrology and chakras all together and, you know, it's, it's a really, really good series and she gives you practical things that you can do as well with 
each of those those bits of information. She was saying that by teaching something, you understand it in a completely, you know, you have to, you do understand it in a much better way and it helps to kind of solidify your own learning, your own knowledge, your own thoughts. And I've totally found making videos to be like that because it helps me to to do those things, to kind of the same, it's, it's what writing does for me too. When I write, that helps me to kind of realise what I think. And I find by making videos, that also helps me to realise just what I think about things, how I feel about things. And when I watch other people's videos, I think that also helps me, <laughs> you know? So yeah, it's been a really wonderful experience. I want to thank every single one of you for watching. And yeah, I feel really, really blessed. And thank you so much to Tracy and thank you so much to Ashley and to Julie for sending me that stuff. And I think that's it. I won't keep you any longer. It's been half an hour. I will see you very, very soon. Warmest blessings, guys. Mm -hmm.